Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello everyone, MKBHD here, back with another screencast for the Locker Gnome YouTube channel and LockerGnome.com. Today I'm going to be giving you an overview of a very simple yet very powerful Adobe Air application. And yes, that means this is an application that is available for both Mac users and Windows users alike. So let's get right on into this. So for those of you who want to search for it, the application is called the Adobe Air Icon Generator, and it's available at the link in the description, or you can click in clockmaker.jp slash labs slash air underscore icon. It allows you to generate CS3 or Web 2.0 style icons in just three steps. So if you're interested, stick around. I'll show you how this works. Once you've visited the link, in order to get it, scroll about halfway down their webpage, past all their tutorials with screenshots, etc., to find the Adobe Air download from the Adobe Air Marketplace. It'll direct you to a new page from adobe.com, or you can go ahead and begin that download and installation process. The installation process doesn't take very long, and uh, it's actually relatively intuitive. So once you've finished the installation process, it'll go ahead and throw down an icon on your desktop that says Clockmaker Icon Generator, and of course it has their little icon example for you. Go ahead and double click on it to open up the application for the first time. So this is what it looks like. It's a really, really simple, intuitive interface, but yet it's a powerful piece of freeware that a lot of people might like to use. So like I said earlier, I really like the app because it creates an icon for you, or your company, or even your YouTube channel, that is simple, pleasing to the eye, and if you ask me, it's quite attractive. So over here on the right, I have the icon generator itself. Here's how to start. You can either make a 2.0 or a CS3 icon, the square or the starburst. I'm gonna start by making a logo name, since I go by MKBHD on YouTube, that's what I'll type in. Then we choose a background color. I'll go ahead and go with this dark blue here. And it gives you a preview of the logo as you're making it. You can go ahead and hit Create Icon, select a place to export it, hit OK. And it's going to export all four sizes of your icon, 128, 48, 32, and 16. It's convenient that I can export in these few pre-made sizes because some places you'd like to export this icon, for example your YouTube channel, have size limits for file uploads. For a YouTube channel, I'd suggest that 128 by 128 icon, but for other places, I'd suggest the largest possible file size within your limits, of course for quality. Overall, it's a very well-made Adobe Air application and works well with no glitches or faults. If you're looking for a classy new logo, look no further than the icon generator from clockmaker.jp. MKBHD signing out. Thanks for watching. Peace.